Hello, my name uh, is Walter Ferrari. You can contact me on uh, wferrari at silverlightshow.net. And uh, in this video, we are going to see how to insert a Silverlight application into a SharePoint web page. We will see three different methods. One, using a shared document library. Two, using a web part in Visual Studio. And three, using a SharePoint module, uh, always in uh, Visual Studio. Let's start uh, with the first uh, uh, method. Open the browser and go to your uh, SharePoint site. In my case, uh, is a team site. I log in as administrator and go to Shard Documents uh, page. Uh, here you have to upload uh, a document, and uh, in this case, you have to uh, to upload uh, the sub file of your um, Silverlight application. In my case, it is uh, called uh, Elevation Chart. Click OK, and now we have uh, uh, our uh, Silverlight application uh, sub file included uh, in the shared documents uh, library. If you look at the status bar below, um, here, you see the path uh, of uh, zap file inside SharePoint. We will use it uh, in a while. Take note. Okay, now go to side page and uh, add a new page. We will call it uh, test method 1. Okay, now we are in editing mode. Click on insert, web part, and from categories, uh, let's, uh, let's choose uh, media and content, and then uh, several light web parts, and click on add button. Here we have to um, insert the URL of our uh, file. Uh, fortunately, we can uh, we can uh, use a relative path, so we can write sharp document document elevation chart zap. Click OK. And now. We have uh, uh, our Silverlight application inside the uh, uh, SharePoint page. If we want to increase the size of the bounding box of uh, our uh, Silverlight application, we can go to the down arrow, click on Edit Web Part, and on the right, in the uh, Properties panel, we can, uh, for instance, uh, assign a different uh, size to with an, uh, and eight and click OK and now 